So I'm gonna talk a little bit about relationships today. This was a special request and I'm probably gonna go in a little bit different direction than the person asked me or maybe wanted me to, but this is me and this is Trust the Process. Let's go. Let's go, it is Drew with Trust the Process. Um, Wow, I haven't sat in this spot and recorded a video in quite some time. It kind of brings back some memories uh, because I used to sit over here when I didn't have a car and it was really my only kind of refuge like away from my job to, to sit in this area. And I would come over here and sit over here even when I didn't record videos, but, um, but it was really a good spot for me to record videos. Although people do kind of walk around this building and on this sidewalk quite a bit, especially when it's nice out. So I'm hoping that doesn't throw me off today. But uh, what I really wanted to talk about is not where I'm sitting, but um, something somebody specifically asked me to talk about. Um, I've only done this once before. Somebody asked me to talk about something, um, which was kind of bullying. And, um, and so I had somebody reach out to me actually today and, and asked me to kind of talk about like relationship advice and, and stuff like that. Um, specifically people who have been damaged in prior relationships. So I told him, I said, I'll, I'll make a video, but I'm gonna go with my own little twist on it. I haven't really talked a lot about relationships in the past, mainly because I felt like I wasn't an expert, right? So who am I to, to talk about relationships? But just like sports talk and, and everything else in this world, right? You start to realize that the quote unquote experts, they're not really experts either, right? We're all in this world trying to figure things out. And that's what I'm about. I'm trying to get better every single day. And if I can teach somebody else something about my struggles or whatever to help them avoid those mistakes, then hey, more power to them. And, and that's really what I wanna do, more power to them. I didn't use that the right way, but I'm not starting this video over. So anyways, um, I'm gonna go back a little ways and, uh, and reference something. I used to work uh, for my uncle, right? Old school Italian, and I've referenced him before, Charlie. And uh, I'm working in his shop and one of our customers used to come in all the time was a marriage counselor and I asked him one time I was like I gotta ask you you know how many couples that you counsel are on their second or their third marriage maybe even beyond that and and he like right off the bat was like it was probably like 80% right? I mean it was the vast majority of his his customers were repeat marriages right they, they were not on their first marriage and so I asked him I said well out of those people those those couples that are on their second third right they're on their not on their first marriage first go around how many of these couples are experiencing the same exact issues that they experienced in their first failed marriage and he said almost all of them almost every single one of them had the same exact issues and I think this is where I like to get into relationship talk and the understanding of relationships because I, I actually like hearing people talk about their relationships and their problems and and kind of dissecting it because one I've, I've said this before but it's always easier to dissect somebody else's problems and look at it from the outside than it is to look internally at our own issues right we struggle so many times understanding our own issues but yet we can see other people's issues from like a mile away it's ridiculous how that works but it just does it's like we have blinders on for some reason so <laughs> one of the things the first things that, that I try to understand myself and I try to explain to other people when I talk about this and they're entering into a second relationship, third, whatever, is that if you don't fix yourself, if you don't change who you are, you're gonna continue to attract the same, the same type of relationship. It might be a different name, right? They might have a different birthday, they might have different quirks, different issues but you're overall gonna attract the same energy into your life, right? I've talked about energy before and we don't always know what is good energy and what is bad energy. We just know the energy that we like, right? We feel it, right? You're attracted to somebody and you're just like, I don't know what it is about this person, but I'm attracted to them. You won't change that until you change yourself. And once you change yourself and, and you realize that internally, right 
you've, you've got some issues going on, right? The, the, these same issues aren't just popping up randomly, right? You're attracting them into your life. Whether you want to admit it or not, you are. It's a big deal for me, right? It's a big deal. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so big on self-improvement and me trying to get better, right? So that I attract not just the right relationships into my life, but the right friendships, the right people. Overall, that's what I want, right? I want to change the way that I look at myself so that I'm attracting a different type of energy because in the past, I'm gonna be real, like the energy I was attracting into my life was not a good energy for me. Right? It was not what was beneficial to me and me progressing and becoming a better person and moving forward in my life. Now, I wish I would have figured this out a lot earlier in life, but sometimes, like I said, I'm stubborn and I got to go through some nonsense in order to figure out uh, what I really need to do. So my real advice to anyone when, when you're talking about relationships is almost like everything else. Go look in the mirror and fix who you are, right? Because once you're happy with yourself, then you're not gonna put up with nonsense anymore. You're not gonna allow people to treat you like less than you really are, right? And you're not gonna treat other people less than what they are. It starts with yourself. It's always gotta start with yourself and who you are. It's what it's all about. That's why, you know, so many people get hung up on, oh, you know, uh, you know, it's cocky or conceited if you're loving yourself, if, if you're focusing in on yourself, you know, if you're just concerned about yourself and you're not concerned about anyone else. I'm not saying not to be concerned about anyone else, right? My number one thing is, is that I want to help other people in this world, right? I want to lift other people up, but the number one thing I have to do before I try to lift anyone else up is to fix myself. I can't fix anyone else or help anyone else out if I'm not good. It all starts with yourself. you got to. So my advice for anyone that's heading into a second relationship third relationship i hope you fixed yourself i hope you really took some time to look at yourself and say you know what all right what do i need to correct and and sometimes when you're doing that and you're in a relationship and you're trying to improve and fix yourself it's going to push those people away they're not going to want to be there and it hurts right it's some of the stuff that I went through in my life where as I started noticing that I was trying to become a better person, I was trying to do things that that positive energy, right? Positive and negative doesn't hang around each other. They don't like each other. You know, the, the old saying opposites attract, right? Opposites attract, but positive and and positive are going to stay around each other and negative and negative are going to stay around each other and if one person in a relationship is negative and the other person is positive the negative person is going to try to drag that positive person down because they it, it doesn't vibe they don't they just can't be together it just doesn't work like that that's why you see so many people in in unhealthy just toxic relationships because one of the individuals is so negative and they're just dragging down the other person the positive person you know, we, a lot of times we're trying to lift them up and we spend all of our energy trying to lift them up. At the end of the day, you deplete all your energy and then you're no good to anybody, especially yourself. And that's where it all starts. But once you understand that and you're good with who you are and you can be your true self and be positive, then you can attract positive people into your life. And then that's where the magic is. That's where the magic is. So again, my advice, work on yourself. Um, this is hypocritical advice, but not really. Because I, I am working on myself, but I'm not there yet, right? I'm not a completed product, right? I'm still trying to get better every single day and become the best version of myself that I can possibly be. So we'll keep grinding, we'll keep moving forward, we'll always trust the process, and uh, I'll talk to y'all later.